So you, you knew Jeremy Lin before Lin Sandy, and I think this month is a 10 year anniversary of Lin Sandy. Really? Yeah, like what are your memories from that? And, of just that whole phenomenon? Yeah, I, I just got chill bumps. <laughs> and the first thing I was thinking about was that Jeremy was living probably 300 yards from where I was living at the time in New York. We were both living in Stuyvesant Town which is sort of in the East Village. And he was staying with his brother um, right across the basketball porch directly from my apartment that I shared with my girlfriend at the time, and now my wife. And, uh, you know, I, it, it was so real. And it still is surreal to kind of think about it. I, uh, you know, I saw something from Brian Yang the other day that they were gonna do some type of form um, but I had totally forgotten until you mentioned it that it was a 10 year anniversary. Um, I, I always believed in Jeremy. And I think, you know, was I surprised? Yeah. But, I, you know, when we started talking about how he could get better and his potential as a pro, I always threw the number out to him that he could be a 10 year pro be the biggest athlete in the world for a half a year probably it's a little insane <laughs> and I were you did you recruit him I did not recruit okay. him but I had a chance to coach him for three years right. so we worked together every day um did player development stuff we watched film together um you know would had a little routine going every day uh so he was my guy and uh a great dude I'm so happy for him Mom, Shirley, the brothers, dad, you know, just great people's great family. Were you, um, I think I read a quote where you told him that he could be an NBA player. Were you one of the first people to kind of plant that seed in his head? Probably. Um, but, you know, I, I just believed him, right? I saw something in him maybe that he didn't see in himself. Um, because I had an opportunity to play my college basketball at a power five level, I saw characteristics in him that weren't normal for a guy that was at a mid-major. And I thought if we could develop and hone those skills that he would have a chance because of his size and because of his character to have a chance to be an NBA player. And does it feel 10 years ago? Is that? <laughs> I, I, I watched one of his games probably a week ago or so. And uh, to see him all going China playing right now, is. Uh, it just brought back fond memories and uh, just warmed my heart that he's still doing what he loves to do. Awesome. Thanks, Coach. No problem.